What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tool tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about the Rectangular Pattern Tool. This tool allows you to create multiple copies of an object in a linear array, meaning in a straight line, at the same time. This can be a huge time saver when you're creating lots of copies of the same thing inside of your models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so one of the things you're going to find yourself doing a lot of when you're modeling inside of Fusion 360 is creating multiple copies of an object. So there's a couple different tools built in that allow you to do this, but we're going to start by talking about the Rectangular Pattern Tool. So this tool allows you to create copies of both sketches and also objects, like 3D objects, inside of Fusion 360. So to start off, let's go ahead and create a sketch. So I'm just going to click on Create Sketch, and we'll just create something very simple. We'll just create a rectangle that starts on the center point and we'll say it goes up to we'll say 100 millimeters and we'll finish that sketch and then we'll extrude this up. So now let's say that we wanted to create multiple different copies inside of this object. I'm actually going to extrude this up a little bit more so maybe another four millimeters. And so let's say that we wanted to cut a number of different holes across the top of this object. Now one way that you could do that is you could create a sketch and come in here and draw each hole manually. So let's say that we came in here and we wanted to create a five millimeter hole. And so when we draw this sketch, let's say that we wanted to create multiple copies of this along this face. The easiest way to do that is going to be to use the rectangular pattern tool. So in order to do this, we're going to go to the create option and under this drop down, there's going to be an option for pattern. There's multiple different kinds of patterns and we'll talk about all of these, but in this particular situation, I want to talk specifically about the rectangular pattern tool. And you can see how what this does is this allows you to duplicate objects along lines. So in a straight line. And so the way that you do that is you activate the tool and then we need to be inside of sketch mode in order to copy this sketch. So we'll edit this sketch and then we'll do it again. So create rectangular pattern and then you select the object that you want to copy and then you give it a direction. So when you can give it a direction inside of sketch mode just by dragging this arrow. You can see how when I drag this arrow what this does is this creates multiple different copies of this circle that I've drawn inside of my sketch. So um, as I move this around, you're going to notice that it has this one right here that's moving around, but it also has one in the middle because this is currently set to create three copies. And so there's a few different ways you can do this. So you can set your distance type to be either extent, meaning you set the furthest away that you want this object to be, and then you use this to set the number of objects between those two points or you can set this to spacing. And so what spacing is going to do is that's going to allow you to set the spacing between each object. And then the number of the number of copies just kind of goes up based on the number that you set in your quantity column. So for example, for this one, let's say that I wanted these all to be 10 millimeters apart. Well, what I would do is I would set this to spacing and then I would just adjust the number of copies that this creates. And note that this does have the ability down below to do a symmetric, meaning you can have this go in both directions if you decide that you want to do that from your center point or just in one direction. So that's kind of up to you with how you want to do that. But let's say, for example, that we wanted to go ahead and we'll set the extent on this one to, we'll call it negative 60. And let's say we want five copies. So that'll create five different holes total. We would just click OK, and you can see how the rectangular pattern tool has created multiple copies of this sketch inside of your, inside of sketch mode. So we just click finish sketch, and then we just come in here and we can just extrude all of these through our shape. So we can use this to create multiple holes really easily. And so not only does this allow you to set things just in a singular straight line, but let's go back into sketch mode. This also allows you to set these with multiple different columns. So let's say, for example, that we were to create a 10 millimeter circle along this edge. And let's say we wanted to copy that so that it goes along this edge, but also along this edge. Well, what this tool does is this allows you to create multiple columns. So by activating rectangular pattern and then selecting this object by clicking on it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this up here. So this would be negative 100. So that's what we've done before. But now under directions, 
we can also click and drag this arrow to create columns to the left or to the right. So in this situation, we're gonna set this column to a value of 25. So now we can set not only the number of objects between this point and this point, but also between this point and this point. And note that you can either type that value in here or you can click and drag this arrow in order to create multiple different copies. So in this situation, let's say that we just wanted a column here and a column here. Well, you would set this to two columns in the first direction and seven items in the other direction. And then we can click OK. So you can see how, again, that was a really easy change to make. And so we're going to click Finish Sketch. And then let's say that all these objects need to be extruded down in here. We'll just select them real quick. And we'll say these are going to go down negative 3. 0.5. We'll just click OK. And you can see how making those copies along this object was really easy. And so note that this works not only inside of sketch mode, but also in 3D mode. So for example, now that we're outside of sketch mode, we can select this object and you can see how there's an option here for create rectangular pattern that applies specifically to bodies and faces and things like that. So it works pretty much the same way where you select your objects and note that this one gives you the ability to select faces, bodies, features, or components. Features would be like the cuts that we've created inside of this face right here. Um, but let's say that we wanted to make a copy of this body. We would just select the body then it would ask for directions. We would click on select. And in this situation, it doesn't give you the arrow. You have to dictate a direction by clicking on an edge. So in this situation, I'm just gonna click on the red axis and then that'll give me an arrow and now I can create copies of this object. So let's say that I wanted to create four copies this way. And I could also set this to create four copies the other way. And see how I can set this distance just by typing in different values. So you can see how you can use this to create an array of different copies. So we're just gonna click on okay. And you can see how these copies have now been created. And so one other thing about this is, is that this will also allow you to copy features. So if we were to create a sketch along this object right here, and we'll just call, we'll just create a little ridge. So we'll just go in here, create a little ridge like this one, and then finish it. And let's say we were to extrude this to remove the material all the way along this face. And don't worry about it cutting the hole in the holes for right now. But now we could come in here with the rectangular pattern tool and we could select the option for features. So in this case, we're selecting this cut that's been placed in here and we're gonna set a direction by clicking on this edge right here. So now you can see how this will allow us to create multiple different copies of this feature. And we can set the direction type so that it's symmetric. So say that object was centered, which it isn't at the moment, but that's okay. Um, you could use this to create copies on both sides of the object. And we would just click OK. And you can see how you could use this to create multiple different copies of these, uh, these ridges that we cut into this object as well. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. This tool is very helpful for creating multiple different copies of objects. You're gonna use it a lot for things like holes and other things that repeat inside of your 3D models. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you like this video? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.